Hello, today we are going to take a look at how to create some custom pop-ups so that rather than using the Excel standard ones, so something like this, we can instead have a version that looks something a little bit more like this. Looks a little bit nicer and it feels a lot less Excel. So let's get started. Okay, so the starting point of this is going to be our basic dashboard. If you want to see how this was created, if you go back a few videos, check out the tutorial on basic dashboards. All I've done is I've added a extra button down here called Logout. And currently when we click this, we just get the standard Excel message box saying, are you sure you want to log out? And you can click yes or no, and it will record the answer. So let's start by drawing out how we want our custom message box to look. So I'm going to go insert, Illustration shapes, I'm going to use the rounded rectangle again. And let's just make it maybe this big. And I'll take these slightly less rounded. And we'll move it up to the middle here. And for a color, let's just fill it with uh, maybe just a dark-ish color. Remove the outline. And on properties, Let's just make it so that it does not move or size with cells. That's just to make sure that if we move a cell around, it doesn't grow in size or morph out of shape. Next up, let's add the standard text to it. So I'm just going to go middle align and center align for the text. Now let's make it white to stand out a bit, bold. And the one we've used for this is Aptos Display. So now when I have edit text, let's add in, are you sure you want to log out? And then let's add a title to this. So we will do, again, shapes, insert, uh, this time a text box. Let's go kind of in the middle up here. Again, we'll set do not move or size with cells. This text box, really, we want to have no fill, white text, Aptos display, bold, and probably slightly bigger for the heading. Maybe the title will just be logging out. And we'll have that center aligned. Like so. So now we've got a title, a text for the actual message box and this has still got a line on it so let's just get rid of that so outline no outline and then let's just take the bold off this main section i don't think that we need that let's just add in now the buttons so once more we'll have shape probably rounded rectangle again and for this example we're just going to create a yes button and a no button So again, let's do, make sure these are central. We'll do Aptos display, probably white again. And we'll say edit text, yes. We probably will make these ones bold. So we'll have a yes and a no. And for both of these, make sure it's, don't move our size. The colour, let's have no outline. And let's fill them with maybe, maybe black. That's all right. And obviously this one will be no. And proportionally they're probably about in the right place, I think. Now obviously you can make this whatever you want. You can decorate it in whatever way you'd like to. You can add in different colors, different buttons. I'm just going through this one as a basic example of how you might put this together. One other thing that I like to add when I'm using these kind of pop-up boxes is a blurred or at least a shielded background. So to achieve that, I'll add in a shape and I'll just drag it over this section to start with. And then if you go to shape format selection pane, Let's just move this down so that it's 
behind everything that we've just created as the pop-up box, but we want it in front of everything else on the dashboard or on what you're trying to hide. Then let's extend it out here. And if we just make this view small for a section, and we're just going to extend it so that it covers everything that the user is likely to be looking at. So we'll go back up to sort of 90%. Now, what I like to do here is fill it with white. But then if we go to the properties on fill, let's make it transparent a certain amount. So we can still kind of see what's behind it, but it's clearly kind of disabled to click. I think that 35% looks pretty good there. So now let's name all these shapes that we've just created so we know what we're doing and we can call things in the code to make them visible or not. So this rectangle is going to be our, let's call it a background blur, BG blur. We've got here our pop-up. We've then got our pop-up title. And then we've got our yes button and our no button. So let's call these button pop-up yes and button pop-up no. Okay, the final thing we're going to do is to group together all of our pop-up elements so that when we're making it visible and invisible, we can just call one thing. So let's have pop-up no, pop-up yes, pop-up title and pop-up. So I'm just holding control to, to multiple select these here. And with these four selected, I'm going to right click, say group, group. And we'll call this maybe full pop-up. So that's pretty much everything we need to do on the design side. Let's go now into the code and take a look. So I'm going to go to developer, visual basic. And I'm just going to use the same main function that we've got here. Um, and let's create two functions. One's going to be to set the pop-up. And the second is going to be to hide the pop-up. And at the very basic level, what we want to do in each of these is we want to display the pop-up shape along with the blur on the set pop-up and obviously hide it and the blur on the hide pop-up. So for that, we're going to use active sheet here. By using active sheet, that's just going to use the sheet that we're on to call this function. Now, obviously we want to copy these shapes that we want to use for the pop-up on every single tab that we want to use them on, but I don't want to have to rewrite the code for every single sheet. And each time this function is called, you are going to be calling it on the sheet that you're on. So active sheet here is fine to use. So if we say, okay, shapes, and it's going to be full pop-up, uh, dot visible equals true. And then we'll use the same for the background blur, which was BG blur. And then we're going to have the opposite when we hide the pop-up. So both of these are going to be false. So let's just try those out quickly. If I hit F5 here, you can see we've got the dashboard back to normal. And if we hit set pop-up, now you can see that pops up perfectly. Now to make this pop up a little more customizable, what we might want to do is when we're setting set pop up is to supply a title and a text. So let's add that in. So let's say p title a string and p text a string. And now once we've in fact, before we make these visible, let's change the text. So for this is going to be, again, 
active sheet dot shapes and first of all we're going to reference pop-up because this will be the pop-up text that we're using so to access this it's going to be text frame 2 dot text range dot characters dot text and this is going to be the P text and then we'll have the exact same thing for the title and this is going to be I think we called it what do we call it pop-up title so pop-up title so let's just see if this works if I call the function now down here in the immediate window if I say okay set pop-up with a title of uh, let's just say new title and text of pop-up text here we'll call that you can now see that it's correctly identified this we could also add extra arguments for things like the yes no buttons so that it sets the text on the buttons for now we'll just keep those as yes no just to keep this a quick simple tutorial so now that we know that that piece works the next step is to assign this functionality to the logout button so let's just scroll up here you can see in our original button click function for the logout button which is this case here we're just calling a standard excel message box so that's if message box equals vb yes then and then the logout functionality would go here so let's delete that for now and we'll add in if you're going to click the logout button we want this pop-up to appear so we would be calling set pop-up and we want our title to be logging out and we want our text to be are you sure you want to log out so let's just run our hide pop-up to make sure we can get back to our normal screen and now when we click log out we get this up with the logging out and are you sure you want to log out the correct buttons at the moment yes and no they're not even set as buttons so that's something that we need to change but the actual functionality of getting this to pop up when we click the logout button does work so let's now go back to the code and add in functionality for the yes and no pop-up buttons so for that rather than adding them as normal buttons I'm going to create a, sec a separate function so let's say this function is going to be called um, pop-up button click and then here we can just say that we're going to have a button name and we're going to assign the button name to be um, application.caller so that'll tell us which which of the buttons was pressed and then for this one because we've only got those two buttons we can just simply say if button name equals and what did we have this as button pop-up yes then do one thing else do the other thing and then in here we'd have this would be the action to log out and in here this would be action to cancel effectively now we know the cancel action is to call hide pop-up and the action to log out obviously this is a demo we don't have a a logout functionality um, so let's in this functionality just let's call we'll call hide pop-up and then we'll just call a standard message box and say logging you out just so that we know that's firing correctly so coming back to our pop up here we can now select the yes button right click and say assign macro it's going to be pop up button click and we'll do the same for the no button 
that's my macro, pop a button click. So now when we click no, it dismisses the box. Now let's just try that again. So log out, no, nothing happens. Log out, yes, we get logging you out and it hides the pop-up again. As I say, you can get as creative as you like to with, with these kind of pop-ups. Uh, this is just a very simple version to show you the basics of what is possible and how we would deal with it on a very easy level. Hopefully that's been helpful. If you've got any questions or comments, please put them down below. If you have found it useful, drop a like on the video, please, and subscribe if you would like to see more of this kind of content. I'll see you next time.